In future cases, we should reconsider all of this court's substantive due process precedents, including Griswold, Lawrence, and Obergefell, because any substantive due process decision is demonstrably erroneous, we have a duty to correct the error established in those precedents. Now, I seriously doubt the court will make contraceptives a state issue. And I also doubt that criminal punishment for sodomy will be left to the states either. Our society isn't very split on those issues. It's pretty cut and dried. You'd be hard-pressed to find people who think that those things should be states' issues, and you'd be even harder-pressed to find someone who thinks that contraception and homosexual acts should have harsh penalties. It's usually hardcore religious people who thankfully don't have much power. But if the courts actually did something like that, it could easily throw our government into disarray. I don't think they're that stupid. Now, I, I don't think they're stupid at all. But gay marriage? It's only been federally legal for seven years. And as of statistics from 2021, just last year, approximately 30% of the population of the U.S. is still against gay marriage. That's not a small number, and most of those are Republicans. Samuel L. Jackson chimed in on the issue and asked Clarence if he plans on overturning Loving v. Virginia, which federally legalized interracial marriage. It was a reasonable question, regardless of how it might have been asked. Having said that, you'd be hard-pressed to find someone who thinks that interracial marriage should be left up to the states. It was decided in 1967. That's the accepted norm now. Gay marriage? Not so much. I mean, it not as much as we'd like to think. Whoopi Goldberg wasn't so nice in how she addressed Clarence. Because what's next, as Clarence Thomas is signaling, mm -hmm. they would like to get rid of contraception. Mm -hmm. Do you understand, sir? No, because you don't that's have to crazy. use it. But that's crazy. They don't have to use well, it. That is on insane. The menu now. Contraception's on the menu. Gay marriage is, well, is now better hope probably going to be we weren't in Affirmative the action is We were more. not in the Constitution either. Well, we were not even people he is in saying the Constitution. Nothing is pressing and what, anymore. Well, really? you better but hope Clarence. that they don't come for you, Clarence, and say you should not be married to your wife oh. who happens to be white. Because they will move back. And you better hope That's that nobody right. says, you know, well, you're not in the Constitution. You're back to being a quarter we're of back a person. Because that's not going to work either. Some ridiculous right wing propaganda sites like The Blaze were suggesting that Whoopi Goldberg was threatening Clarence. And a number of others went with that narrative, suggesting that the FBI should look into her. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. But that's to be expected. It's, it's kind of the norm in right-wing propaganda. You know, that's how it works. And yes, there's a lot of pervasive pseudo-liberal propaganda out there as well, but that's not what this video is about. This video is saying that, yes, it is quite possible that the Supreme Court could decide that gay marriage should be up to the states. Again, as I said, you know, according to statistics from last year, uh, around 30% of people do not agree with gay marriage. And most of those are Republicans, and we're likely to have a red wave. And if gay marriage is left to the states... You can guarantee that a number of states will very quickly, you know, legalize gay marriage, uh, you know, but uh, there will be some states that don't, that don't want, that wouldn't want to recognize it. And there'll probably be a couple states that are even hostile towards the concept of gay marriage. And if this happens, it's still not going to cause enough anger, enough to allow Biden to win again, unless Biden and the Democrats do something amazing by 2024, yeah, he's not going to win again. I hope he doesn't run again. Maybe he'll have some health issues or something, right? And we know they're not going to run Kamala. That would be political suicide. But, you know, they could, they could come up with some sort of plan. Will it work? I don't know. But, I mean, if people are angry enough at, at the Republicans, you know, but it's not enough to make Biden win. So if you want Democrats to win, there's still some hope. It just requires a lot of very, very unlikely things to happen. Have a joy, joy day!